So one of the brands out there um, that I actually really like that makes like good budget like microphones and things like that is Mayono. So they've got all kinds of like little uh, podcasting kits and YouTube kits and microphone all-in-one systems depending on what you're looking at doing. So some of them come with boom arms, some of them don't. They have all kinds of like podcasting systems and setups. So uh, Mayoro actually sent me this and I think it's uh, pre-release. Uh, I don't think it's out yet because I've been searching around and I can't see it anywhere else. So this is the Mayono AU PM500 Professional Large Diaphragm Microphone. Now because there's not a lot of information out there right now, I don't have a lot of information. So what we're going to do today is go over a little bit of the info that uh, Mayono actually sent me. Uh, which is like one page, so not a lot. And we're gonna crack open the box and we're gonna do a little sound test where we're gonna actually take um, the mic that I use almost all the time uh, and we're gonna replace it with this just to see uh, what it sounds like. Yeah, kind of exciting. Coming up. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the box. It's a pretty good hefty box, which is which is nice. Um, but here's kind of the specs or the data sheet that they kind of sent us. So here it is, the AU PM500. Uh, it's a 34 millimeter diameter condenser microphone. Frequency response, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz sensitivity. Uh, and you can read it. I'll just put it up here on the screen. It's easy for you guys to see it. But it's a nice little complete little XLR kit. They, they actually say with the email that they sent me that this should come in in and around the hundred dollars now i don't know if that's a hundred dollars canadian or a hundred dollars us but in that price point and their goal was for this microphone to really compete with microphones that were two to three times its price point so microphones that are coming in around that 200 to 300 dollar range so we'll actually be able to see that i think that if they can do that which they've done with a lot of their other mics they have some mics that are surprisingly inexpensive that you know, you try them out and you're like, well, well, I had no idea, no idea. So let's open this box. Yes. Okay. So may or no, here it is. Professional large diaphragm. Uh, nice box, right? There it is. I do like this little like pop filter that they have on it right there. I think that's very cool. Uh, and that, and that's kind of, that's kind of it. That's the only real differences on this side here. We get cardioid pattern, 34 millimeter and a cool little, cool little photo. All right, I'm down. Box comes with a handle. That's excellent, right, you guys? Box with a handle. Yep. Okay. Ready? And oh, well, well, well. You know how I like cases, right? They've gone all out. Look at that. Well, if this comes in at like a hundred dollars. Look at that, you get this sweet case. Oh, I like that so much. All about presentation, right? Okay, pop it open. And it's even got this cool like 3D on, on the actual box. All right, okay, so far, so far for a hundred bucks. All right, there we go. You guys see that okay? I hope so, you know. So you're gonna get your user manual. There it is, professional large diaphragm, yeah. Just kind of folds up. Now, number one, and you all know that I talk about this all the time. This is a well-sized manual. It's just got so, it's so big. There's no way you look at this and be like, I can't read any of it. Yeah, you can. It does say, and this is important too, I like that they did this. Where has the word Mayono? That's the front. If you're talking into the other side, you're not gonna, because in one of my videos that I did for Mayono, because again, they send me some of their gear, um, I actually did that. I did maybe a minute or two of the video and the mic was backwards. And I realized that after, because I was like, how do you know what the front is? Where their, where their branding is. That's the front, right? Okay, so you do get an XLR cable. Very cool. We're gonna use just the ones that we have already. Here's your little, little like pop filter that goes on. I like that. There's your, that's a nice shock mount. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I might, I might see if I can use that later just for my existing microphone that I use. That's, that's lovely. Oh, and that's good looking. So 
like they said, there's that Mayono right there. You guys see that, right? There's that Mayono right there. That's the front. The backside actually has the model number. So the backside has the uh, AUPM500. So that's going to come down and that's going to sit like sit right here. And if you really, if you can look through the grid or the grate, you can see that that's where the microphone is. And that's, that's the rear. You can kind of see that right there. And that's, that's everything that's in that box. I like that box. Makes you feel like you got something. You spent you spent some money and you got something really nice that came back. That's that's super nice. All right, so this is this is this this is the front, and basically this I'm guessing. This how does this even go on? Does it show? Oh, this goes on. I'm just looking at the at the at the actual photos. So this is gonna go through here would be my guess, like so. Okay. And you're gonna mount this this way. Aha, so there's a little opening right there. Are they just saying it just slides on the side? It just, just, it just clamps on? So maybe, oh yeah, that's it. Voila, see I made it way harder than it needed to be. It just clamps on, right? And then that, that kind of just slides in, slides in like that and there's your, there's your little, there's your little pop filter. Very cool. All right, we're gonna pause this right now, we're pausing it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this and replace this mic with this one, and then we're, we're gonna do the rest of the video uh, with that. All right, hold on. All right, guys, so here, here it is. You, you can see it, it's right there, and this is the audio that is coming from this microphone right now. So the one thing to kind of be aware with a microphone like this from here from Mayono, the, the PM500, is that because you are talking into it this way, a little different than let's say a shotgun mic. So I currently use a shotgun mic like this. This is what I use. Um, and the big difference really between these two is, and it's, you know, if you're doing podcasting where you're not on camera, really it doesn't matter, It does. who cares? But if you're on camera, like we are here on YouTube for instance, this is something that you want to um, just kind of see and get an idea of. Uh, I have no idea what the audio sounds like. I will listen to it before we finish the video. But this is going to be in the shot, right? This is going to be in your frame. And you have to realize that you have to be okay with that. So I primarily use a shotgun so that it gets out of the shot because it is detecting sound coming in this way, right? Straight into it. Whereas this microphone, if you were to talk in this way, would be no good. This is needs this front facing coming in straight here, which if you don't mind it in the shot, then that's good. And a lot of people actually, this is very cosmetic. They like it in the shot because it gives you that, you know, radio announcer kind of broadcast. You they can see what mic that you're using and it kind of adds to the whole YouTube, your whole YouTube studio setup. So just things to kind of think about when you get a mic like this, and that's not just the Mayono mic, that's any kind of mic that needs to be spoken to or talked to from this kind of angle versus a shotgun mic, which you can get out of the shot. So something that I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of. So what I'm gonna do right now, cause you've heard a fair bit, right? And this is me doing all kinds of pop, 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 pop. You can hear, how this little pop filter can be helping as well. This is actually for me, I have this running through a Comica Link Flex. This is how I run this microphone as well because it's also an XLR. Uh, it's a Link Flex AD2 and that allows me to plug XLRs into it, give them phantom power, which is what these are gonna require, and then run it directly into this camera. So uh, I'm going to stop this right now. I'll be back in a second, but I'm going to take a listen and, and see what we think. All right, coming up, hold on, hold on, don't go, hey, calm down. Okay, so call me impressed, uh, call me impressed. This thing sounds great, even, even with, maybe it's because it's, it's so close, for one, which is how these mics work. You have to be fairly close, but it has a super nice tone to it. The audio that you've heard and are hearing uh, completely untouched. So if this audio is coming 
um, at a price point of that $100 mark. Yeah, I can see how there may be a lot of people flocking to this, this microphone. Um, just realize, especially if you're using it for like a YouTube setup or you're, you're doing gaming or whatever it is, um, it is a microphone that is going to probably require some kind of like phantom power because it's not powered. Um, I again have it running through a Kama, Kamaka, Kamaka, Kamaka Link Flex 82, which can supply phantom power, which is what it's doing right now. They're not overly expensive, but this allows me to get audio from this, have it powered, run it directly into a camera, or I could run it into a computer. Now, if you're also just going to run this into like a mixing board, as long as it has phantom power, then you're good to go. But just, just kind of realize that there may be some extra pieces that you may need. And it does kind of show it here. I don't have my top camera going right now, but it does show that, you know, uh, taking this microphone and running it into like a mixer board to kind of come out, right, is where they, they have it going to. But I have a mixer board. It's all packed up right now. But the sound out of this, fantastic. Even when I'm turning like to this camera here, with my shotgun mic, when I turn, you can hear it's not picking me up as much because my voice is now firing this way, right? But here, yes, it's not as good as when I'm talking straight into it, but the audio even over here isn't bad. It's, it's actually quite usable. That's really good, really good. And did I tell you it comes with this really cool case? Yeah, super cool case, right? Um, yeah, it's a win. I, uh, I have no idea exactly how much this is going to cost or even exactly when it's going to be coming out. But as soon as I get uh, links and information, etc., etc., I will put them down below. Right now, I will put links down to Mayono's primary website, so mayono.com, and uh, you guys can peruse around some of their other mics because they do have they have some lovely setups, really lovely setups, especially if you're kind of on a budget and are looking at just kind of starting up. Maybe you just want to, you're starting from scratch and you just need to set up a whole, a whole setup. They've got you covered. They've got you covered, right? So I've been actually looking at the, their May, May, Mayono caster, I believe it's called. Um, and I'd like to try that because I'd like to possibly maybe get into doing some podcasting. Maybe, we'll see. And I think that kind of setup would be very cool. All right, guys, uh, like I said, I will get more official links directly to the PM500 once I get them. Um, but for now, we'll put links down below to Mayono's website. And that's going to be it. What, what do you guys think of the sound out of this mic? It's, it's awesome. It looks super cool. I love this little pop filter. It comes with everything. I love the, love the little hard case it comes with. It's, it's a win. It's a win without question. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little bell. And we will see you fine folks in tomorrow's video. Later, my friends.